It is finally here. DALI API is now available in public beta. OpenAI just announced that DALI API is available. I don't know if the ship has sailed with a lot of stable diffusion API and demos. Nevertheless, DALI is the first that set the tone. So I'm going to show you how you can use DALI API to build your own image generation code using Python. So in this tutorial, we're going to see how to use DALI API to create your own image generation application using Python. The first thing that you have to do is read the documentation. If you have not, the next thing that you have to do is you have to log into the openai.com website. So once you log into beta.openai.com, you're going to be greeted with this playground page. Once you reach the playground page, go click your profile name and then click view API keys. At this point, you will not have any API key unless you have created something before create new secret key. I'm going to show you my secret key, but I'm going to just disable the secret key after this video. So never ever share your secret key. Just remember, never ever share your secret key. Now create your secret key. Once you create it, you have to copy it because if you do not copy it, you won't be able to view it again. So make sure you copy it and then store it somewhere safe. I'm going to copy my secret key. Once I click OK, I will never be able to see it. And after this video is done, I'm going to click this. I can revoke my key. The first step is to install OpenAI Python library. Pip3 install OpenAI Python library. Once you have Python library OpenAI installed, and also once you have your API key, now it's time for us to code the actual image generation Python code. So the first thing is import OpenAI. Import OpenAI, then set the OpenAI.API underscore key with the key that you have got make sure you do not hard code the api key just like how i have done because this is a demo i want to explain even um, even the beginners how to do it that's why i've shown with the api key on screen but ideally you have to set the environment variable that is what you should do on your machine the next thing is uh, and again if you do not know how to set an environment variable there are lots of tutorials that will tell you either search for environment variable or search for setting um setting up so yeah, just search for setting an environment variable either on Windows or Mac, you'll get a tutorial very simple. And the next thing is openai.model.list is a very nice way for us to validate whether our uh, authentication has been done. So this shows all the models that are available in OpenAI. Very popular one, GPT-3, the DaVinci model. If you want, you can use that as well. But we are now going to stick to only image generation. So AI image generation. How do we do it? It is very, very simple. Open AI dot image dot create and give the prompt say number of images that you want to generate and the size of the image that you want to generate. It is very, very important for you to specify the size because that is a very important aspect of the pricing. So you can see the pricing for image models 1024 by 1024 is two cents and 512 by 512 is 0 0.018 which is you know um, slightly less than that and 256 by 256 is 0 0.016 so it is important for you to select the right resolution for your whatever you want to do and uh, that is that is that is going to have different cost so keep that in mind the second thing is you might ask me who is going to own the image so open ai has said that the are uh, our image that you generate, you are going to own it. Let's see how that goes once it gets deployed. But for now, we have got uh, openai.image.create, the prompt, number of images that we want, and then we have the size. Um, a cute panda uh, trying to cook some noodles while drinking while um, in the space. In the space, photorealistic, 4K, uh, Nikon, I don't know because I've created a lot of stable diffusion at this point. So my prompt style is very stable diffusionist, but let's see. So I've created the image and it is going to give me two images at the end. And let's see how the images are going to look like. And you are seeing it in real time. So we have got two images, one image. So, and we get the image URL. So I can copy the image, go back to my browser, paste it. And then I can see the first image. So as you can see, this is a really high resolution image. 1024 by 1024 and uh, the panda is trying to cook noodles not not a very beautiful panda but it is trying to cook noodles and the second one is 
again let's see if the panda what is it doing hey panda this is it's in the space now i can see it's in the space and it is trying to cook noodles which is um it, it almost looks like it's sitting on the gas stove and then trying but that's it so you get this object uh, which is an open ai json object and uh, take this object one you can see the timestamp when it is created if you go inside this object then you can get the url and then you can do whatever you want you want to display it to your customer you want to stay, store it somewhere else um i mean the the whatever you want you can do it but to quickly summarize first step install open ai library next make sure that you have got the authentication done which means you have the api key ready next test your authentication by looking at the model list and then next open ai dot image dot create that will help you create the images that you want using open ai let me know in the comment section open ai dali is still relevant i'm quite skeptical like how this api is going to be received given that a lot of stable diffusion ai related products are coming out every other day but nevertheless um, dali is quite popular so let's see how open ai dali api is going to be received in the market once again just like i said do not hot code your api key never show it to anybody people can misuse it and again when you're going to git commit your code make sure you have hidden the api key token and all these things just make sure that otherwise this notebook will be linked in the youtube description please check it out and read the documentation of open ai image generation that has a lot of information about how many images do we allow uh, 10 images per minute 25 images per 5 minutes and if you want to increase the limit what to do cost how to generate a good image how to write a good prompt lot of things and it is not just image generation it can do three things creating image creating edit creating variations i hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to use dali api to generate ai photos see you in the next video